In 2023, we took a Viking Mediterranean Italian Sojourn cruise. It started in Barcelona, Spain to Sede and Marseille, France, Monaco, then we hit Florence, Pisa, Rome, Naples, Pompeii, Messina, Sicily, Crotone and Bari, Italy, Sabina, Croatia, ending in Venice, Italy. I know that Nice is supposed to be a tourist and rich and famous hotspot. It's on the Mediterranean, how can it not be? It was a really nice day, but maybe it's because we didn't get to stay very long there because Viking had us trying to hit three places in one day. So we were confined to a very small walking area. So for me, this was not a stop I particularly enjoyed. We didn't get to see much of a place that is France's second largest city on the Mediterranean coast. I know there are a lot of things here to see besides the beachfront, but for the amount of time we stopped here, it just doesn't do the city justice. To me, the ride to Nice actually had more to see than the city itself. Nice does have a great promenade, and surprisingly, it wasn't that crowded. We arrived in Nice and then walked to a central area just minutes from the promenade with a central fountain and statue of Apollo. These seven resin statues will begin to glow and twinkle with ever-changing colors around dusk. Some of the natives think they're nice and others who are more traditional are not as thrilled with them. We spent the majority of our time in the open area market. The best thing about this for me was trying a piece of their Nice pizza. Definitely different, but still pretty good. Oh, and this camel on the balcony, hey, got me, it's not my balcony. Nice has a very long and interesting history, which is why it's kind of a shame not to actually spend a lot of time here. But Nice contains an archaeological site which displays evidence of a very early use of fire 380,000 years ago. Around 350 BC, Greeks from Marseille founded a permanent settlement and called it Nakaya, if I'm saying that correctly in Greek, which is the goddess of victory. Through the ages, the town has changed hands many times. Its strategic location and port significantly contributed to its maritime strength. From 1388, it was the dominion of Savoy. Then it became a part of the French First Republic between 1792 and 1815, when it was then returned to the kingdom of Piedmont, Sardinia, the legal predecessors of the Kingdom of Italy, until it was then re-annexed by France in 1860. So this place has been back and forth with a lot of different cultures, and, and you could see that here. And that's why trying to go to the medieval section of the city would have been a lot more interesting than just being confined to the beach promenade. Nice is very colorful, though. I will give it that. 
There is a newly constructed monument on the promenade to mark the 150th anniversary of the 1860 annexation of the county of Nice by France. The work symbolizes the nine valleys forming the old county of Nice. But as with many modern design structures, it does have its detractors. Not everybody's thrilled with it. Their beach, unlike uh, Stitches, it, which is in Spain, this one's all rocks. So they still seem to like it out here. Back at the pickup spot, just waiting for the group. Again, not much time to do anything, even checking out the shops. I think Viking tried to fit way too much into one day's excursion. It's better to see one or two places fully than three just somewhat. But then again, that's my opinion. Anyway, off to Florence. <laughs> 